In this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating a design similar to this. And we're going to be using a lot of different keyboard shortcuts here in CorelDRAW, ones that you really got to put to memory because it's going to make your design work so much easier. But this is a really, really basic design. It only takes a couple of minutes to do. But I want to show you step by step how to go about doing it. Now we're going to focus almost entirely on CorelDRAW. We are going to cheat in one little area and use a macro that I have because it's a free download so you might as well. The other point I want to make is we're going to be using our custom toolbar here for CorelDRAW. So if you don't have this installed, even if you're just using the CorelDRAW demo, go to our freebie section, go into CorelDRAW macros, and you'll see a custom workspace for CorelDRAW X5 and CorelDRAW X6. And it'll have all these tools available to you here. Now these are all CorelDRAW tools. So this is, you don't need anything else but CorelDRAW, and it just makes it easier to follow the tutorials and uh, have all the tools that we use most commonly uh, right here available to you. So let me show you how we would go about creating this design. So what we're going to do first of all is just drag out a rectangle. And you know, you can have it however tall or wide you want it. And now I want to set this the overall width of this rectangle to 9 inches. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our two-point line tool here. And you can see as we click and drag, you can kind of make whatever kind of line you want. But if you hold your shift key down, watch what happens. There's only certain angles that it will allow you to create, and it will allow you to create a perfectly horizontal line as well. So you want a perfectly horizontal line. And then the next thing we want to do is a couple of keyboard shortcuts to remember. So the first one to remember, we have one object selected. We're going to switch to our pick tool. If we hold down the shift key, we can select additional objects. So we're going to select our rectangle, and we're going to hit C. That's our next shortcut. C will center everything left to right. So watch that. C takes our two point our line to uh, and it centers it left to right in our rectangle. And E for Edward centers it top to bottom. All right. So shift to to have one object selected and select many others along with the original object that you had selected, and then C to center left to right, E, center top to bottom. Okay? So the next keyboard shortcut you got to put to memory is pretty simple. And that is to duplicate the currently selected objects because we need a duplicate of this line. So we just hit the plus key on our keyboard. And all that does, you can't see it, but it just makes a, an exact copy right on top of what we already have. Okay? Now you'll see it here momentarily. Now with nothing selected, you have this option up here, which is our nudge option. And I already have it set to eighth of an inch. So I'm going to take our line and use the arrow keys on my keyboard to nudge it up one eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to take that duplicate line that we can now see and nudge it down one eighth of an inch. So the gap here in between, we have exactly a quarter inch gap. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a hole, if you will, for our basketball. Now if you select our basketball, you can see it's roughly four inches. So we need a, uh, a circle that's bigger than four inches. So we're going to create a circle using our ellipse tool here in CorelDRAW. Hold your control key down. That will constrain to a perfect circle. So we drag out our circle and then we'll set our size. And I think we'll set our size to four and a half inches. I think that'll work pretty well. And now we're going to use our keyboard shortcut again. Remember the shift key? So we have our circle. And I want to point this out too for you because it's good knowledge to have. Whatever the last object you select, that becomes your anchor when you're centering things left to right, top to bottom. Now I know you probably don't understand what that means, but let me show you. We have our circle selected. I'm going to hold my shift key down and select my rectangle and hit C and E. Okay, so you saw what happened there. The circle moved to the center position of the rectangle. Now I'm going to undo that and take my rectangle. Now my rectangle selected and hold the shift key and select my circle. 
Now my circle was the last object I selected. So now when I use those keyboard shortcuts, C and E, now you saw what happened. The rectangle moved to the circle, which obviously we don't want. So I just want to point that out. The last object that we select, that becomes the anchor. And that's quite useful, especially in rhinestone design, um, knowing what that last object was that was selected and using that as an anchor point. But at any rate, we're going to select our circle again, hold the shift key, select our rectangle, and hit C and E. Okay, so now we have this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this amazing Smart Fill tool. I love this tool. Use it all the time. Um, so we're going to select our Smart Fill tool and just click and click. And you can see we have a new shape that was created. Let's select both of these. So now we have these new shapes that are selected. And now that becomes the container for our envelope. So let's go ahead and keep going here. We're going to type out some text. In this case, I'm going to type out Hornets. And I'm going to type out basketball and I'm going to type out baseball because I just want to show you something here. All right, so we've got Hornets, basketball, and baseball. So next thing we want to do is set the type of font that we want to use for these and I'm going to use the impact font. It's a really good font. It's a nice bold font. Um, and it works really well. So then to apply an envelope to the word Hornets, we're going to click on our envelope tool here. And then we're going to use our eyedropper tool. And as I hover over that, you see what it says? Create envelope from. So as I click on that eyedropper tool, I can then select this shape. And you can see it gives us this example boundary. Now it took me the longest time to figure out how to actually apply the envelope. Um, and the way to apply it is you just double click on anywhere on that blue boundary to apply it. Ta-da! There you go. Now what's really cool about this, if this is the type of design that you think you're going to use quite often, what we can do now that we have an envelope applied, and this to me is an amazing tool, an uh, amazing option that we have in CorelDRAW, is we can actually save that as a preset. Um, so let's just call it top, I don't know, top ball, whatever. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but we'll call it top ball for lack of a better example. And then we'll uh, click on the bottom one, same thing. Eyedropper from this, double click to apply. So now you see we have Hornets basketball, but we'll save this as a preset too. So we'll call it, what do we call it? Uh, we'll call it the bottom ball. Okay. So there you go. Now you have Hornets basketball. So then what we're going to do is we, we would take this and remember our shift key, select our shape, C and E, take basketball, shift our bottom shape, C and E. Ta -da. And then we can take these two, and I'm just going to slide them out of the way, like this. All right. So then the next thing I want to do is I want to take care of baseball. So with baseball, we're going to do it a little bit different. So to apply the envelope to baseball, what we're going to do is we're going to come into our envelope tool, but instead of using the eyedropper to uh, select this bottom shape, we're going to go to our presets, and as we hover over, you can see here, uh, there is bottom ball, and you can see it even gives us a little bit of a preview of what it's going to look like, so we'll choose bottom ball, and there it is, there's baseball. So now what we can do here is we can fine-tune exactly how we want this to look. So I can, yeah, I can just pull this down, and you, know, you can stretch it out and, and make it look exactly how you want it to look. Um, but we also are going to set it the overall width to be 9 inches. Just like it was previously. 
Now, the problem in doing that is you don't have this perfect circle. Um, but I just want to show you that that preset option is available to you. So that, that does become problematic, and that's why I save these shapes. So it's a good practice to s keep these shapes available as kind of a template. Um, so no matter what you want to type in here, you'll be able to. So that's one drawback to using the presets. It doesn't keep this perfect circle. Um, so at any rate, let's just go type out that word again. We're going to do baseball. And then we'll come back in here and change our text. Then we will select our text, our envelope. We'll click. And this keeps our perfect shape there. So that is uh, definitely an advantage there. And we're going to make a duplicate. And again, we're going to save this setup. So anytime we want to put tigers or Mustangs or, you know, football and mom, whatever you want to do, you'll be able to do that uh, very easily. So just to give you, just to illustrate the point, let's do that. Let's uh, type in, uh, let's do this. Let's do basketball again. And then let's do mom. Okay, and we will set our font. And again, we will envelope, eye drop here, double click. So now you can see we have basketball going across the top. And we will center that up. And then this will go to envelope, eye drop, bottom, double click. And we will center that up. So, very, very simple. You get the idea. You can envelope whatever you want to envelope. Um, so, let's go back over here and finish these up. So, I actually have a basketball that I created in another design that I'm going to borrow for this. So, here's that basketball. Now, I am going to set the size of my basketball to 4 inches. And my basketball, I'm going to group my basketball together. These are all individual pieces. And then I'm going to take Hornets and basketball and group it together as well. I just use my keyboard shortcut of Control-G. And then I'm going to select them both and center them, C and E. And now you can see our basketball fits in there just perfectly. Now, I did tell you I was going to use, it was going to cheat just a little bit and use a macro for one element and I'm going to do that right now. So I ungroup my basketball by right clicking on it and just choose ungroup all and then what we're going to do is apply a line thickness something like that and then we have a macro um, which is our vinyl essentials. This is a free download free download and then we're just going to hit vinyl spacer. And you can see all it does is where we had an outline, now we don't. We have a space. Okay? So then we'll go ahead and we will combine all of those bits back together again. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and pull up Easy Stung. I guess we'll cheat a little bit just to add a weed box quick. We will take our Hornets basketball. We'll ungroup it too. And we will go ahead and combine it. And this, let's just go ahead and do a little glitter fill on that and this as well and so you can see yeah we spent a few minutes doing it but you know it looks like a really nice little design there now for this we're going to do the same thing we're going to add a weed box we are going to go ahead and apply a glitter fill but I actually have a baseball all ready to go in another design so there is my baseball and I will go ahead and drop that back in over here. Got to find it. There it is. We're going to group our baseball together. Control G. And then we have our Hornets baseball here. C and E. Center things up. And I think this baseball will look better if it was tilted a little bit. Something like that. And then we'll ungroup all. And then just to finish this off, 
we will right click simulate our stones add our weed box our, our watermark rather add the dimension of the design and all of that you can do in Corel Draw, but it's so much easier just one click solution there um, to, to do all that so you can see we've created two designs one for ba basketball one for baseball really super simple to do and we mostly use Corel Draw. Um, so you can definitely do it without using easy stone but if you haven't ever tried the easy stone demo you know it doesn't cost anything to download it and try it it's a 60-day demo so it lasts a good while um, because there is a lot to learn you know there's literally hundreds of videos that we have now on easy stone and Corel Draw in combination so we give you a 60-day demo to really you know take your time learn about all the different features but now you can see how it all works and you can see that these designs are pretty easy to create once you know what you're doing we've got loads of videos for you to watch um, so you should be able to pick it up in time so I hope this was valuable to you and thanks for watching